Hi and welcome to this Plant Factory quick tip about instances. You can speed up computation and reduce the memory footprint of your plant models by replacing individual children with instances. I'll show you how to do this in this example. In this plant I want to replace the stalks on the flower head with instances. To achieve this I just need to add an instantiation node from the geometry category and insert it before the nodes that I want to instance. I'll connect the three output lines to the instance node and the instance node then to the stalks node. From all the possible random variations, Plant Factory will now pick a single one and replicate and scatter this single variation across the plant. If you look at the flower, you will see, however, that we've lost all variability. Replacing all random variations with a single instanced one is a trade-off because it's a natural consequence of only generating one instance that will then be replicated across the plant. You gain performance, but you lose detail. So let me connect the stems to the original node without the instance so that we can compare the original model and the instanced model. And the original one really looks much more organic. But fortunately, we can recreate some of this variability. Internally, the instantiation node creates a point cloud, which contains translation, rotation and scale data for scattering the instance geometry. So we can add some randomization to the parameters of the transform tab on the instance node to better hide the fact that each stem is identical. And suddenly we are back to something much more organic and better looking. To export the plant with instances, select USD or FBX as the export format and check export with instances. Provided your target application supports instancing for these formats, you will then receive a base mesh with a point cloud and a single instance mesh scattered on this point cloud in your target application. And if unchecked, you will just get a regular single mesh instead. Please keep in mind that what you see is what you get in the Plant Factory viewport. As long as there is an instantiation node present in the graph, the viewport will show what the plant looks like with instances or in other words with just a single random variation. Even when the instance export is disabled in the export options, the exported mesh will exactly represent what you see in the viewport. So if you want to get the original plant with all its random variations back, you must delete the instantiation node from the graph to go back to the regular fully randomized plant model with individual children. And our internal tests when comparing instances to full geometry showed that with instances the memory footprint of large and complex plants such as large trees could be reduced by as much as 50% and we also got roughly four times more frames per second in real-time projects and the file size of the exported model was up to 16 times smaller. So if memory and performance are important to your project, give instances a try. We hope you found this quick tip useful. Thanks for watching and until next time.